Hi guys, are you planning to set up a robust fiber network together with power for installing remote PoE device? Today, we are tackling the topic of outdoor power over fiber networks and easy installation and experience the full benefit of our channel by subscribing. It is just one click away and you will never miss an important update and information again. A fiber optic network is a high-speed communication infrastructure that utilizes thin strands of glass fiber to transmit data as pulse of light. It can provide significantly higher bandwidth and allowing for faster and more efficient data transmission in a longer distance. However, it cannot carry electrical power because fiber optic cables are designed specifically to transmit a light signal rather than electrical current. And unlike copper cable, which can carry power and data, fiber optic cable relies solely on the transmission of light through the optical fiber. So now let's move on to the next scene where we have the setup on the demonstration board. So behind me is the whole power over fiber solution. Let's take a look what we need. We have a monitor, a main network router, and an MVR. And the video will show up later after we connect it with the PDZ camera at the edge. And since we cannot plug in the fiber of the cable directly to our router, that's why we need the media converter over here. The media converter can convert the electrical signal into fiber optical signal. And beside it, we have the power supply unit. And remember, we don't have any power outlet at the edge. That's why we need one here. Now this is the termination box. You can see there are two cables inside. One is the fiber optic cable connect with the media converter and the other is the power cord connected to our power supply. So over this side, we have the same termination box with the same cable set up. Now you can have a clean and neat cable network. And connected, we have the waterproof fiber PoE media converter. It is a crucial tool that allows you to utilize the fiber optic link and supply PoE over a long distance, even at an outdoor environment. Now let's take a closer look. It is available with 1 gigabit per second SFP slot and 1 gigabit Ethernet PoE port. And it's also comply with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard, delivering a maximum of 30 watts of output power to meet your PoE device. And also eliminating the extra AC outlet at the edge because the power can be delivered over the Ethernet cable for 100 meter. And with the feature of the wide range input voltage, from 24 volt to 56 voltage, you can opt to choose different power supply to meet your need. And without saying, let's do the whole connection together. So let's use a short patch cord to connect our router with the NVR first. And the monitor is already connected to the NVR. And using another ethernet cable to connect our network router to the media converter. Plug it in here and power it up. Now this is the SFP transceiver. And it's usually sold separately because it has to determine what kind of fiber optic cable and connector that you use. We're using a single mode LC connector here. Let's plug it in and put it into the SFP slots. This is the power supply unit and it's already been powered up. Let's connect it now. Screw it tightly. And power it up. Now all we need to do is connect the fiber optic cable here and the power source. Let's plug them in. And you can see there are only two cables coming over here to the other termination box. So we are doing the same setup here. Plug in this and the power supply. Done. 
Now let's put in the power source for our media converter. And you can see the indicated light is on instantly and use the SFP transceiver to connect with the fiber cable first and plug it in. Now we are going to use a short patch cord to connect the PDZ camera with the PDO, PoE media converter. And you can see it's, it's, it is running already and no other power supply unit is available. And the image will show up soon. Give it some time. And you see my hand moving. And this is a live video. So the whole setup is done. Since fiber of the cable cannot sense power, so this power over fiber solution can send power from the main network along with the fiber of the cable. So it's best suit for installation without AC outlet available at the edge. And here's some more information about the fiber optic setting. First, is the fiber optic cable choosing. Make sure you choose a high quality fiber optic cable. And there are also single mode, multi mode, and different connectors. So make sure you choose the one that is suitable for your situation. Second, make sure you optimize cable routing and avoid short bends and pinch point to physical stress. Use a cable clip or a protective casing to secure the fiber of the cable since it's made out of glass, so it's fragile. Last but not least, you need to consider the environmental factors. If you're using the devices outdoor in a harsh environment, make sure you use a waterproof type and a rug design. And if you're seeking for professional assistance, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you. And thank you so much for watching us today. I'll see you next time.